Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is John with Addicted to Fishing. Today I'm going to give you a little update on my progress on uh, fluid bed. I know I talked to you before about uh, I wasn't going to use a fluid bed because of electrical issues out here in my tackle room. Um, but I think I figured out how I can make that work. Um, I only get uh, electric out here from uh, um, probably uh 12 hours through the night um i do work second shift so that does play um into my into my area for me um, when i get home sometime um, between 10 and 11 p.m i can come out here for a few hours and do some work i already cut these down um i got them partially assembled i'll explain to you what i did um this is the fluid bed um i used Gorilla Glue, Contractor's Adhesive, uh, the Heavy Duty. Um, it's just something I had on hand. I, I bought it for another project and it's worked. Um, basically, I took, um, I had some spare PVC laying around, a couple of different sections. It's only one and a half inch, uh, but I think it's going to be plenty big enough. Uh, I only bought two of the couplings so I can make two of them to see how I like it. Uh, the test caps, the test caps probably the cheapest piece. Um, I got a test cap on the bottom to hold that seal or to hold the uh, air in. I went ahead and used that Gorilla Glue all around the base. Um, and then I got a test cap for a lid. I did make two of them. Um, the bottom piece I didn't even measure. I just took a short piece that I had, chopped it in half. Um, and this section, um, including what's inside the coupling, I measured out the three inches. Um, I know a lot of people are going to, uh, two and a half inch PVC. Um, I just happen to use what I had on hand, but let me go ahead and show you why I think this inch and a half is going to work. It's an unpainted swim bait head, but anyway, if I'm going to put that swim bait head in there, I've got plenty of room. Nothing different than dipping in a jar, I don't think. Matter of fact, let me uh, let me grab a jar. So there's the jar. If you could see, it's pretty close to the same size. That's. When I found that I had that inch and a half inch PVC, that's the first thing I did. I don't have a problem when I dip it in a jar. Um, I do like um, the the whole um, fluidized bed process. I think I'm going to get a better coat. Some of the jig heads, um, and I don't have one that really has it. Um, and there's ways that we can get around that too. Um, but when you're dipping in a fluid bed, if you get too much powder paint on it right up here as that jig head's sitting, a lot of times it comes right on the nose. You'll get extra powder paint that'll bubble out. Um, and I think it makes it look like crap even for my own use. Uh, a little paint on the, on the keepers don't hurt me. A little bit around the, uh, the hook eye doesn't hurt me. Um, but I'd rather not have that big bubble of, of powder paint uh, stick it off stick it off the end there um, so I think I'm gonna go to this uh, fluid bed uh, see how it works um, there's plenty of videos out there that'll walk you exactly step by step by step um, if you want to get more details about it um, I had a couple of these valves lying around and it's more like a regulator you just twist it one way it'll allow more airflow twist it the other way shut the airflow off you need those one for every fluid bed that you make right now i think i have seven different colors of paint um, so my goal is to build um, seven different fluid beds um, i've been working out here in my in my tackle room too um, making some adjustments um, and making things uh, more efficient i got a new table to work on and it happens to be a perfect height so when i'm sitting on my bucket 
Um, it's perfect for me to do some, some work type stuff. It's a stainless steel. Um, so I don't have to worry about if I'm pouring jigs and are hot and I throw them down. I don't have to worry about it burning anything. The other ones that I have and had been using are, uh, are wood. I'm going to move my melting pot and everything on this particular shelf. Um, just be, keep on, keep it on. Uh, my next step that I'm going to do is I am going to drill this out. Probably right here in the base. Slide this in. I'm not going to permanently glue this in. Uh, I don't glue here. I didn't glue here. I don't have a filter in them yet. You can see all the way down to the test cap. Um, the reason being is I want to be able to take these apart. Um, if need be, um, I do have a couple extra test caps. So if I had the test cap on, um, I probably could flip it upside down, put another test cap on, and I store my powder paint that way. Um, I probably won't need to do that though. Um, I'm not in that big of a hurry. Um, but anyway... I want to be able to take this thing apart in case something fails on it. But this, you got to keep in mind, guys, this is low pressure. You don't even need this Schedule 40 PVC. Um, like I said, this inch and a half is going to be plenty big enough. Um, even if I grab one of the bigger swim bait heads that I pour, and I'm going to put it on a, on a Hemo. Even that, here's a piece of... The other PVC that I haven't even cut down yet, I can get that in there, and I've got I've got wiggle room in there. You know, it, it's going to be plenty fine, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sold on that. I want to I want to actually do a test run with it, make sure it's going to work the way that I want it to work. I don't think it's going to be a problem, um, and that's the reason why I only bought two of the couplings. Uh, the couplings. The PVC pieces are actually the most expensive. A two foot piece of inch and a half PVC. Um, I believe right now at Lowe's at Home Depot in my area is uh, about six or seven bucks. Uh, the test caps are 49 cents or so. I might actually have a receipt here to, I, I didn't have to buy the pipe. Okay, the test caps are 63 cents a piece, and the couplings are 97 cents a piece. Um, I don't remember how much this Gorilla Glue is. Uh, these pieces, you can buy them in bulk on Amazon. I don't even know how much those guys would cost. A little air pump to run it. It's probably going to be, you know, 10 to 20 bucks, depending on what you buy. Uh, this one happens to be a dual outlet. I do have some extra uh, air aquarium tubing. If you see some of my videos previous to me uh, changing this channel over to a fishing channel, I used to um, raise and breed tropical fish. Um, I imported quite a few, brought fish in, did whatever. Uh, most of it uh, on my import side was aquarium plants. But anyway, I had hundreds of of feet of airline tubing. I've got a bunch of valves. I've got some real nice valves. Um, I might build a manifold at some point um, that'll run all the all the all the different colors at once. I'm not in a production stage where I need that though. Um, it might be a little sturdier for me than uh, just having them sit. But I think this is this is going to work out perfectly. Um, once these cure. Um, which will be tomorrow. I'll be able to, uh, I'll probably drill the holes here in a little bit. I'll, I'll do an updated video for you guys showing you uh, the finished product and uh, showing them in action. I'll figure out what kind of filter media I'm going to use. It's probably going to be paper bags or I will go to uh, a coffee filter. I think uh, the most of the videos I've watched, the preferred uh, um Filter that they put in is is one of those two. Um, I've seen a few other options that are out there. I, I'm not going to go to it like newsprint. 
I don't want to have to go buy a newspaper um, to have that. I have some newspaper where stuff gets shipped in, but I think I think a paper bag or coffee filter is the way to go. I think I'm going to go with a brown paper bag, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'll keep you updated on the fluid bed process. Like I said, I'm hoping to get away with it out here, running it. It should be all low, low, uh, low voltage. Again, guys, all this stuff. You don't have to, the only part I would highly recommend that you seal is that base, uh, just so that um, if you have any imperfections in it, um, you have that sealed up nicely so air doesn't leak. The rest of it doesn't need to be sealed. This is real low pressure. You're not looking for something that's high pressure. Um, I ran um, uh, in my fish room, just to give you an example, I ran. Um, I think it's one inch PVC and a loop all around the entire fish room to uh, pump air into um, roughly 100 aquariums. Um, well, we won't say that. We'll say 150 to 200 um, uh, sponge filters. Um, that gives you more of an example versus, you know, 100 aquariums because 100 aquariums um, you could have had four four sponges in each one of them, which I probably ended up having three or four hundred lines uh, drip, dropped off of that into sponge filters. But anyway, none of that had any type of uh, cement or PVC glue or anything in it. I made it so that if I needed to uh, take out a section um, for whatever reason, it broke. Um, you know, because I was clumsy and, and I had it all around the, the roof of the garage that I had to, uh, the, the aquariums in. But I just wanted it to be able to become, come apart real quick, real easy. I did that when I moved. I was able to take it all apart, move it with me. Um, but I never glued any of that down. Um, and it was much higher of a PSI than one little, one little 20 to 60 gallon air pump is. And I, and I never had a leak, never had a problem. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you liked that video. Stay tuned. I'll keep you updated as I go. Um, I'll let you know more about how this fluid bed actually is working. I'm hoping to get myself a little bit better coverage, um, you know, to keep myself when I'm hanging these from getting that droop off the bottom. I've seen guys, uh, SDG actually makes um, a little stand to put in his oven where his jig heads stand up. Um, I've thought about that too. That's something down the road, but I'm just hoping that I can uh, have something a little more efficient to put a better uh, coat of powder paint on the on the jig. It, by no means is it necessary. I've been doing fine um, with uh, with the dip method. That's a dip method on some white powder paint. Um, but anyway, guys, if you liked the video. Uh, click that like button if you haven't already subscribed. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Hit that notification bell it'll be known to know when I'm putting out new videos. Um, I'm keep I'm trying to keep at least one video going a week. Trying to do two videos a week. Uh, work has been kind of hectic, um, but I'm I'm trying to keep on it as much as I can. I just keep on keeping on. Um, so anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.